once you have like this kind of basic form, you have to understand the kind of musculature that goes on underneath. So let's go and break down all the different parts, which is the hard part. This is the stuff that it's like, oh my god, why do I have to memorize this? But once you kind of mem once you know this stuff, you go over it so many times, then it becomes a lot easier, um, and you just understand how the body flows. Because the thing about muscle, you can draw bones, but muscles connect to each other, and the way that they flow controls the action. When one pull, one muscle pulls, and another one pushes, then that's how the hu how the human body is able to move. So let's start off with the torso. Start off with a rib cage and a pelvis. We draw the center line that forms the um, kind of shows me the overall shape. I'm gonna represent the overall form with a box with the sphere in it. Did you? Interesting. Interesting. I figured they'd want to move. Gonna draw a cylinder to represent the neck. And all right, so now I can keep going. I'm also gonna draw one from the back. I'm going to draw a woman from the back and a man from the front. Yeah, messy box. Maybe that last comment, comment's a compliment. <laughs> That's a very good compliment. Okay. Yeah. Don't like, I say like not talking over me. Um, all right, so the important part to remember is there's a bunch of muscles that stretch downwards from the neck toward the abdomen and from the abdomen up towards shoulders and neck. So you gotta put in first your landmarks. So there is a kind, your pelvis forms a bowl for all of your guts and stuff. And this box forms the top of the bowl. And then your shoulder blade, your collarbone forms something that all of your arm muscles hang off of. So you draw in the collarbone and these like the arch of the pelvis right here. If we actually go into top view, then, like, so here's the rib cage. Then the collarbone floats above the rib cage, and the scapula is behind it. And then the arm attaches to the top muscle of the arm attaches to both of them, like this. So there's a muscle here. Then one that goes up here behind your ear. And then there's some right here around your throat. The sternum extends down from the base of the throat to about halfway down the rib cage. And the pectoralis muscle, which is the one that's like, it's like your breast muscle. It's the one that lets you pull your arms forward. It sits attached here to the, attached here to the sternum. So see these, so this is the deltoid. 
This is the muscle, the first muscle on your arm that lets you rotate your shoulder. Super important. It's kind of like, if we didn't have it, our arms wouldn't work. It attaches here, about one-third on towards the inside of each collarbone. So that's the muscle that goes on top of the arm. If we, Let's draw in the, uh, the bone of the upper arm here. This gives us something to attach all of these muscles to. So we attach in the deltoid. And then, because the pectoralis pulls the arm forward, it also attaches at a attaches to the upper arm bone. Hey Evan, you want green to kick it? Ooh, green to kick it. Grace one? Uh, sure. So those are the important muscles on the upper chest. Next we have muscles that help um, that help us like lean side to side. We have these muscles here called the serratus, which... <laughs> Sorry we were laughing at your comment. <laughs> which attach to the ribs. You can basically treat them as uh, one big mass, and you're only going to see them on people that are super, super, super buff. Because they're not really muscles that get worked out a lot. Or, you know, you know, people that have no fat. Like my ex-boyfriend. And so those wrap around the rib cage. In this center area right here, you have the abdominal muscles. These are the ones that bend and fold and like let you do sit-ups. And all the fat collects around them. What? <laughs> Put that center line back in. There are actually um, eight abdominal muscles, but you're only going to see eight. Again, if the person is really, really buff. And like the last ones are really long and extend down all the way to down into the pelvic bone. Finally, for like moving side to side, we have the obliques. These muscles actually wrap around wrap around your uh, body. Wrap around to the pelvis. And so right now I'm reshaping the pelvis so that it's a bit more like the actual shape. Like the actual shape is something like this. It's like a pair of underwear because you know that's where you wear underwear. So let's go through and label all these muscles again. Not that you even really need to know what they're called, but uh, it's a bonus. So you can pretend to sound smart. Sternoclidomastoid. All right. Trapezius. Oh God, I don't know how to spell any of these. This here, I'm gonna mark the bony landmarks in blue so that you know what they are. Is the collarbone? I don't remember the scientific name for it. Clavi clavicle, clavicle. That's what it is. Uh, this is the deltoid. 
You can do it, Evan. <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is the pectoralis. This is the abdominals. And this is the obliques. So let's go back to red and start on the back. Someone suggests that I put the plushies on your back for balance. <laughs> no. Evan refuses. Lonnie says I should sit on your back for balance. <laughs> oh god. I'm not doing push-ups. I'm doing sit-ups. He says he's not doing push-ups. He's doing sit-ups. How do you Therefore, sit on my back during sit-ups? I can't like, sit on somebody's back when their back is lying on the floor. Lonnie says switch to push-ups. I haven't finished my reps yet. And she enjoys telling you everything twice. Sorry, I got a text message. <laughs> go back to teaching and stop <laughs> harassing Evan. Evan, go back to sit-ups. Yes. So, all right, so from the back, like this, see the trapezius? It's actually wrapping around from the back. It's called trapezius because it's kind of like a trapezoid because it goes triangularly in. So the major form on the back is, so I'm gonna, uh, major forms on the back are, are uh, caused by the scapula, which is the, uh, the shoulder blade. So you can, uh, I draw the shoulder blades in as, as these like wing shapes almost. They're, squares that have been a little bit been toyed with a little bit and tweaked. When the shoulder is down, the scapula is like this. And it pivots from this point right here. When the shoulder is up, then it rotates like this and it takes all the muscles that are along with it out for the ride. So sometimes you'll actually be able to see this corner, see this corner um, when somebody is rotating their, um, their shoulder. So the deltoid, again, I said it wraps around over here It actually wraps all the way onto the back of the arm, onto the back of the scapula. I'm going to draw the arm bones in again so I have somewhere to attach them to. And there's a large muscle that actually goes all the way down the back. Here's the spine where a lot of the muscles attach to. And wraps down and wraps into the into the pelvis. This is the latissimus dorsi. So whenever people refer to lats, that's kind of what they're talking about. The latissimus dorsi connects in underneath the arm and helps stabilize it. It's a very tiny connection. It's a very long, very wide, thin, flat muscle. 
there's also a collection of muscles here to help the help out the spine because this is like a sensitive area for, for like bending back and forth that's where your lumbar is like you always hear people talk about lumbar support it's your lower back you can also see the obliques from the side and the serratus this one, this drawing is messy. I forget what this group of muscles is called. The but they all muscles. connect in here into the pelvis. So the pelvis looks like this, but in the back in particular, it splits. So from the back, it doesn't like split, but it look it has a division in it where the muscles attach to. And this is really obvious. It's called the sacrum. And if you look at most models, you'll be able to see this landmark. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. You don't need to remember that. So this is the shape that we're looking at underneath. Do you want my other Kit Kat? I'm not really. No, 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 it's okay. I still have mine too. The muscles attach in here. We can give it to one of them. Yeah. 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 It's Kit Kat giveaway. Mm -hmm. Gross, half year old Kit Kat giveaway. So on the back, there's also the gluteus gluteus medius. These are these groups of muscles that help you move your legs side to side. You can kind of see them over here too. They come over to the front. These are your butt muscles. And they attach in under the arm, under your leg. They're kind of like the deltoid for the leg. I'll go into this further later. I can't tell if Usagi 911 is hitting on us or not. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm going to mark the bones in blue. The important torso bones. it's time for heads. Heads are really hard. Awesome. Heads are hard. 